Praise and worship. Praise and worship. Praise and worship. Arise Zambia into your new season. Zambia, this is your time to return to the Lord. It is the 10th of September 2020. Sing a new song, Zambia. Awaken Zambia and prepare for God's visitation. This is the hour of your visitation. I am calling every Zambian to return to the Lord, to return in this hour and see the visitation of our God, to restore our covenant back to its former destiny and purpose. Zambia is a mighty Christian nation and we shall arise and stand and declare the word of the Lord in this hour. Join us as we begin a prayer and fast in this hour, in this season, the 18th of September to the 28th of September. Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of your countenance. Psalms 89, 15. Happy are those who hear the joyful call to worship the Lord, for they will walk in the light of your presence. Zambia, it is time to make a call to pray. It's a time to praise and a time to worship so that as a nation, we walk in the full countenance and presence of the Lord to take back what the enemy has stolen from us. Arise, Zambia. Arise, Zambians. Hear the voice of the Lord. It is my love for you, Zambia, that is beckoning you into an alignment with me again. Zambia, call for your children to return. Call for your orphans to find a home. Call for your families to be restored. Call for fathers to be high priests in their homes and mothers to nurture their children yet again. Call for your sick to be healed and call for your nation to arise into her full stature and for the ground to call out for restoration of the land. Zambians, awaken in this hour. I will strengthen you yet again, says the Lord. I will strengthen you to shine and cause the darkness to flee. I will rebuild the old ruins and the broken systems to raise up the former desolations and to repair your ruined cities. Zambia, I am visiting you. I'm raising men and women in this season who are trustworthy and who fear me. I'm raising a new generation of youth in this hour across the nation. A great revival is coming amongst the youth. A great harvest is about to be gathered amongst them. They shall become a mighty army. This shall be the Lord's doing. And they shall rise up as David's army. I've anointed them and given them wisdom beyond human understanding to do great exploits for me. They will become the administrators and the advisors of companies and government ministries in this nation. I'm raising a David whose uncompromising love for me will transform Zambia into all I've called it to be. I've allowed a great shaking and all of the enemy's plans for destroying you shall be exposed in this hour and brought to the light. What you have seen and may still experience across the nation has been a great spiritual warfare coming against the covenant that I've made with you. But I am raising up an end army, an end time army that will contend with the plans that the enemy has used against you. The enemy has attempted to rule and nullify this covenant that I've made with you, Zambia. But I say to you in this hour, I'm a covenant keeping God and my word will remain true and I shall bring my word to pass. I am reminding my people of my covenant and they shall return to me. I am calling for repentance and a returning of my people. Many have left the house of prayer and have forsaken me, but I'm calling you back. O Zambia, return back to the Lord. O Zambia, return back to all that I've called you. 
I'm raising a generation of Daniels and Josephs. They are being raised up to conquer and destroy all spiritual activities of death, injustice, and wickedness in your nation. I am moving you into a new season of seeing and declaring. You shall no longer just pray. You shall arise and to declare even to the stock market, to the climate changes you are currently seeing, to the economy that is on a landslide. You are prophesying. You shall declare and every plan of the enemy shall bow down to your word. You shall arise into your kingdom authority and declare a matter with a new confidence. You shall no longer tolerate what you have been tolerating. I'm calling you to higher realms of intimacy and power, which will require a sacrifice and a humility so that you root out and pull down, rebuild and plant. You shall wage war with my weapons of warfare. With humility, you shall go before authorities. You shall perform miracles like Moses and have Pharaohs give you your request. O Zambia, call all your prophets, call your apostles, call your pastors, your teachers and evangelists into their rightful positions. Call them to prophesy the word of the Lord and disciple this nation in such a time as this. Church, bride of Christ in Zambia, arise out of your sleep and open your eyes to see that time is now. It is the ecclesia who shall rise in this hour and the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. I'm raising up a new voice in this nation. This voice of great influence will have a transformational voice of wisdom into all seven mountains of society. It is this voice that will connect together with the line of Judah. And this voice in my remnant shall cause the marketplaces to turn towards my ways again. It shall be the voice of my authority, my power and dominion. It is this remnant who will stand at the gates of the cities and in the courts of the nation and declare the word of the Lord to be heard, to be honored and to be feared again. This remnant shall bind kings with chains and rulers with iron shackles. The principalities of witchcraft in this nation shall no longer prevail. They shall be destroyed and defeated and rendered powerless, says the Lord. I'm coming with my armies to restore order to this nation. I will raise, as I said, a David amongst you and my hand shall be upon him. He shall lead you into your destiny and the house of Saul shall no longer be. Zambia, return to me. I'm calling Zambians to pray. Come and join us from the 18th of September to the 28th of September, a time of prayer and fasting. Many nations across the globe have called for this time of prayer called the return. If you are interested to join in as an individual, as a church, as a prayer group, please call Bishop Boniface on 97 84 88 Double seven four or call Naomi Schenneberger on zero nine seven double five seven four five seven two. Let Zambia return to her covenant. What's up, us? Call us and join the bride of Christ for the return of Zambia. Thank you to Trina for her song, Glorious, Glorious. We praise the Lord. Zambia, return. 